when you were born, the earth was illuminated and the horizon shone with your light and we are in that light and we are in that radiance and we travel the pathways of guidance. Mentioning the miraculous birth of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after his light and his meaning first having been placed in Adam Alaihi Salam and then descending with Adam from paradise and being on the ark with Nuh as he mentioned and being cast into the fire in Ibrahim as he mentioned Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and eventually being passed on to his mother Amina bint Wahab after her marriage to Abdullah and the light that had been his face decreased and it could be seen that that trust had reached the womb of his mother and then on that blessed Monday before Fajr in the likes of this month in Rabi al Awwal on the soundest or most famous of positions on the 12th that light emerged into this realm and Sayyidina Amina said in what is narrated as Sahih from her that when she bore him, she could see a light from which the palaces of Sham shone. She could see things that were a month's journey. A month's journey by land and she could see them in an instant. Everything that was distant was brought near. Even the stars were brought near to the extent that a woman who attended felt that the stars were going to fall upon her and she said, get away, get away. Why? Indicating that the, the Sayyid of that created realm, the beloved of Allah, and the beloved to anyone who's pious of Allah's creation was there and it brought that which was distant near. And he emerged with a light that years later, 59 years later or, or 60 years later, Abbas would say that we're traveling in that light and we travel the pathways of guidance. And brothers and sisters, you and I, by the barakah of that light, by the barakah of this virtuous Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you and I have faith. You and I know Salah. You and I know Som. You and I know any of these beautiful meanings that these young people were singing about, or that these poets or, or orators will talk about. All of that emerged into this realm in body and spirit with the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he said about himself that I was sent to everyone. In one of the riwayat of that hadith, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that I was sent to the creation in its entirety. We had a session with a group of sisters this afternoon prior to coming, and one of them asked, and Alhamdulillah, Allah has allowed us to travel to, to many areas of the world, Alhamdulillah, and she asked, what is one of the lessons you've learned? One of the lessons that we've learned is this earth is an earth for Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As he said, that this earth has been made a masjid for me. This earth has been made a me, a purifying substance for me. That he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is his age, brothers and sisters. You live in the age of Muhammad. Wal Asr, what is the meaning of that? One of the meanings of Wal Asr is, is by your age, O Messenger. You live in the age of Muhammad. You live, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, on the world of Muhammad. You live in his masjid. You know, you could see yourself in the UK. You could see yourself by, as being here because, you know, some uh, government gave you a visa and then gave you citizenship and you're here. You could see yourself like that, but you could see yourself, this piece of ground in which I'm standing on, the piece of ground in which you're sitting on, you could see yourself as being in the masjid of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And wallahi, Wallah, there are shuyukh from the Ummah of Muhammad that that's how they move. They move as though they're moving in the masjid of their Prophet Sallallahu As though they are ministers in his nation Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam on the surface of this earth. And if we understand that, then we have a responsibility to these people to which he was sent. This world in which he was, uh, he was manifest and this, these precincts which his light reached, as he said, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam, that this affair will reach everywhere the night and the day reach. It will reach everywhere. This light that he brought will reach everywhere on the earth and every home. This religion will enter it, but brothers and sisters, in our case, we may be the emissary that reaches that area. We may be the person that reaches that nation. We may be the first one to pray in that part of his masjid, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So we have a great responsibility in the month of this 
Prophet We have a responsibility to review how much of that light have we carried? How much of that light has our heart borne? How much of that concern and that mercy of the one who is sent as a mercy to all, be all beings? I did not send you except as a mercy to all beings. How much of that mercy of the one who was mer a mercy to all beings extends from my heart, brothers and sisters? Extends from my heart or extends from your heart to those members of his ummah? And by that we mean all of humanity. All of humanity is his ummah to the members of his ummah that surround us, for instance, in our own household. The members of his ummah that surround us in our own neighborhood. The members of his ummah that surround us in the schools that we attend. Or the jobs that we work or the businesses that we frequent. That we have a responsibility and we should all see, we should see all of them as his ummah. We should see all of them as people who receive the mercy of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. We should see all of them as those who were touched by the light that emanated with his birth sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa and realize that we have a responsibility to them. We have a mission to demonstrate to those to whom he was sent and carry and transmit to those to whom he was sent light from this beloved sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam.